हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम डॉक्टर अनिकेत पावनोजी अँड यू आर वॉचिंग बेसिक केमिस्ट्री वेलकम टू द सिरीज ऑफ व्हिडिओज ऑन मॉलिक्युलर ऑर्बिटल थिअरी इन दिस व्हिडिओ वी विल स्टडी ऍप्लिकेशन ऑफ मॉलिक्युलर ऑर्बिटल थिअरी टू बोरॉन कार्बन अँड नायट्रोजन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू हॅव नॉट सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल क्लिक द सबस्क्राईब बटन अँड ऑल्सो हिट द बेल आयकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ माय न्यूली अपलोडेड व्हिडिओज लेट स्टार्ट द व्हिडिओ In the last video of application of molecular orbital theory to lithium and beryllium molecules we have seen that above 1s orbitals there are 2s orbitals which overlap with each other to form one bonding molecular orbital named as sigma 2s and the other is anti bonding molecular orbital that is sigma star 2s if you have not watched that video click on the above link and get in continuation with this video above 2s orbitals there are 2p orbitals namely 2px 2py and 2pz in the postulates of molecular orbital theory in one of my earlier videos we have seen that the 2pz orbital participates in sigma bonding and 2px 2py orbitals they participate in pi bonding so in this way 2pz orbitals they overlap with each other to form sigma 2pz orbitals and the other is anti bonding sigma star 2pz orbitals 2px and 2py orbitals they overlap with each other to form pi bonding molecular orbitals and pi anti bonding molecular orbitals this is the general molecular orbital diagram for ns and np atomic orbitals that is without mixing of 2s and 2p orbitals but what happens in the case of second shell of orbitals is the energy gap between the 2s and 2p orbitals is very less particularly for atoms like boron carbon and nitrogen the difference in energy between 2s and 2p orbitals in case of boron is 449 kJ per mole in case of carbon it is 510 kJ per mole and in case of nitrogen it is 570 kJ per mole so this energy gap is very less as compared to the other atoms of the second shell that is oxygen fluorine and neon Now in this case as the gap between the 2s and 2p orbital is very less and also the 2s orbital and 2pz orbitals symmetrically they are very close to each other the 2s orbitals and 2pz orbitals due to close in energy and close in symmetry they mix with each other as a result of this when there is a mixing of 2s and 2p orbitals there are no new orbitals are formed but the energy of the 2s orbitals is decreased and energy of the 2p orbitals are increased so in this way the energy of the 2pz orbitals that is the bonding molecular orbital is increased and also with that the energy of the anti bonding 2pz orbital is also increased as 2px and 2py orbitals are involved in pi bonding and as they do not match in symmetry with the 2s orbitals they do not participate in mixing therefore the energy level of pi 2px pi 2py pi star 2px and pi star 2py remain same therefore in case of boron carbon and nitrogen we have to consider molecular orbital diagram with mixing of 2s and 2p orbitals now let's study the application of molecular orbital theory to boron molecule boron atomic number 5 its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p1 on the left hand side we have energy On the two sides we have boron atomic orbitals and at the center we have boron molecular orbitals. At first there are 1s orbitals with pair of electrons. Above this there are 2s orbitals with pair of electrons. Above 2s there are 2p orbitals and in one of the 2p orbital there is one unpaired electrons. These 2p orbitals are namely 2px, 2py and 2pz. The 1s orbital is the inner orbital therefore it doesn't participate in bonding. therefore 1s orbitals remains non bonding as in the case of lithium and beryllium we have seen that the 2s orbitals they overlap with each other to form one bonding that is sigma 2s and other anti bonding that is sigma star 2s orbitals as we have seen on the last slide among 2px 2py and 2pz 2px and 2py participates in pi bonding they form pi 2px pi 2py bonding and pi star 2px pi star 2py anti bonding molecular orbitals 
The 2PZ orbital participate in sigma bonding sigma 2PZ and sigma star 2PZ that is antibonding molecular orbital. Now we have to fill the electrons. As we have seen that there are three outermost electrons that is in 2s2 and 2p1. There are two boron atoms so there are total six electrons that we have to fill. The two electrons goes to the sigma 2s orbital. Then the two electrons goes to the sigma star 2s orbital and remaining two electrons remain unpaired according to the Hunt's rule in pi 2px and pi 2py orbitals. The molecular electronic configuration is sigma 2s square, sigma star 2s square, pi 2px1, pi 2py1. As there are two unpaired electrons, boron is paramagnetic in nature. The bond order is calculated by number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital minus number of electrons in antibonding molecular orbital divided by 2. As we can see that there are two electrons in sigma 2s and two electrons in pi 2px pi 2py so total four electrons and two electrons in the antibonding sigma star 2s orbital. Therefore the bond order is calculated as one. That is how the boron is diatomic in nature with one bond between the two boron atoms. Definitely there would have been a question in your mind that why we are not considering this diagram. If we consider this diagram, we can see that the two electrons will get paired up in sigma 2pz orbital and boron would have become diamagnetic in nature. But experimental studies have proved that the boron molecule is paramagnetic in nature. That means we have to consider this diagram where there are two unpaired electrons in pi 2px and pi 2py orbitals. Let's apply molecular orbital theory in the same way to the carbon atom. Carbon atomic number 6, 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. At two sides we will have carbon atomic orbitals and at the center we will have carbon molecular orbitals. First there are 1s orbitals, then 2s orbitals. Above 2s there are 2p orbitals that is 2px, 2py and 2pz. Now just the change is there are two electrons now in the 2p orbitals. 1s orbitals will remain non-bonding, 2s orbitals will participate in bonding forming one bonding and other anti-bonding molecular orbitals. We have to consider the same diagram as in the case of boron as the energy gap between 2s and 2p orbital is less. So there are pi 2px and pi 2py bonding molecular orbitals and pi star 2px pi star 2py anti-bonding molecular orbitals. Similarly, there is sigma 2pz bonding and sigma star 2pz anti-bonding molecular orbitals. There are total 8 electrons that we have to fill according to the Avba principle. 2 electrons in sigma 2s, then 2 electrons in sigma star 2s and 4 electrons in pi 2px and pi 2py orbitals. The molecular electronic configuration is sigma 2s square, sigma star 2s square, pi 2px square and pi 2py square. As there are no unpaired electrons, the carbon molecule is diamagnetic in nature. Bond order is calculated as 2. That is how carbon is diatomic in nature with two bonds present between the two carbon atoms. Let's apply molecular orbital theory to nitrogen molecule. Nitrogen atomic number 7, electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. The MOT diagram is same as that of boron and carbon. There are 1s orbitals first. Then there are 2s orbitals, above 2s there are 2p orbitals, now containing 3 unpaired electrons in each of the 2p orbitals. 1s orbitals remain non-bonding, then 2s orbitals participates in bonding to form one bonding and other anti-bonding molecular orbital. Similar to boron and carbon, there is formation of 3 bonding molecular orbitals and 3 anti-bonding molecular orbitals. Now in case of nitrogen there are total 10 electrons that we have to fill. 2 electrons in sigma 2s, 2 electrons in sigma star 2s, 4 electrons in pi 2px, pi 2py and 2 electrons in sigma 2pz orbital. The molecular electronic configuration is sigma 2s square, sigma star 2s square, pi 2px square, pi 2py square and sigma 2pz square. As there are no unpaired electrons it is diamagnetic in nature. Bond order is calculated as 3. That is how there are 3 bonds are present between the 2 nitrogen atoms. As there are 3 bonds are present between the 2 nitrogen atoms, the nitrogen molecule is highly stable. That is how we have learned the molecular electronic configuration, magnetic property, bond order in case of boron, carbon and nitrogen. 
In the next video, we will study application of molecular orbital theory to oxygen, fluorine and neon. If you like my video, click on like, do share and subscribe my channel. If you want to mention something or ask something, mention it in the comment box. Also hit the bell icon to get the notification of my new videos and keep watching basic chemistry. Thank you.